Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are back in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and we are going to be transporting some frozen hake. So if you do enjoy this one, please make sure to leave this video a like. Along with if you are new here to the channel, please do hit that big red subscribe button and also hit that post notification bell and say to all. That way you get notified every time we go live, upload a new video or a new short. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's just say guys, this journey is a pretty long one. But uh, luckily for us, it's not going to be too bad. It's a nice dry day as you guys can see. And uh, we've got a decent load that we're taking as well. Which always makes the journey quite pleasant if you know what you're taking. And uh, honestly, frozen hake does seem quite nice. I believe that's a, a sort of fish, I believe. I'm not entirely sure though, correct me if I'm wrong. But um... Definitely another interesting mission, I'd say. I think Euro Truck definitely comes up with more of the interesting missions. I mean, ATS sometimes does give me those weird missions, but honestly, Euro Truck definitely brings some of those weird missions as well, honestly. As you guys can see right now, today we are driving in the DAF truck, and uh, it's a sleeper cab. Uh, I'll try and get that one to show in a minute. Uh, show you guys around the interior right here. It's kind of hard when I'm driving. As we slow up here, I might be able to show a quick glimpse of it. There we go, right there. It actually uh, looks like it's a sleeper cab for two, which is pretty cool. So you could have a second passenger as well. Maybe like a trainee or someone. Speaking of trainees, I've actually been seeing a lot of uh, trucks recently, guys, uh, with trainee drivers. Um, just learning to drive HGV vehicles, um, which is pretty cool. It just shows that we are definitely uh, expanding with like people wise for like driving these bigger vehicles, and it's like crazy, honestly. Especially when it's long distance. Like this mission here is a long distance one, which is uh, okay, I guess, because uh, as you know, me guys, I do like the shorter missions, but. Every once in a while, we will definitely take long distance, like today. And uh, this mission isn't too bad, it's only like a two hour, like 50 minute drive, I'd say, so not actually that bad, if I'm really honest. And uh, for most of it, we'll probably be on the M6, also. Speaking of the roads recently, guys, it have been really, really busy. Like, I was traveling to work on. Um, Monday, and uh, it was around like I'd say five o'clock, and uh, it was busy as hell, man. Honestly, rush hour traffic, everyone getting home from like work and school. Yeah, it's just not busy, great. Like, always busy, but not a great time. Let's just say it that way. Honestly, wasn't a big fan, and I have to sprinkle as well, so I've got to take the extra precautions. One of the things I always try to do, guys, definitely uh, use high visibility clothing. Um, honestly, that is definitely a must, especially in the night time when uh, people hardly see you. Definitely uh, good to be visible. But honestly, when I'm cycling home, it's completely dead quiet. Like, everyone's just kind of gone from, like, it's kind of gone from, like, rush hour to, like, being dead to quiet, which is quite cool. So, uh, when I'm cycling home, it's a nice chill ride, honestly. Honestly, it's good for me, though, doing my cycling, guys, honestly. My fitness lacks so hard, as you guys know. I said in recent videos that my fitness hasn't been great recently. Um, after my kind of uh, wreck of my bike when I was back in high school, which actually was able to be recovered, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I kind of stopped cycling for quite a while. Just because um, of like the whole incident, and uh, I'm definitely grateful to be back cycling as always, guys. But uh, that was definitely one of the scariest moments I've ever had cycling. I've never been in an MV before, so that was quite scary, honestly. I did actually try running for a while, but honestly, I'm what fair play to all the runners out there, honestly. I wasn't good at that sort of uh, sport, if I'm really honest. That's definitely not uh, one for me. I 
I, I, I gave it a try and uh, I did like maybe two runs I'd say and after that I was just not a fan. Like half of it I'll be running and the rest of it I'll be walking. So uh, yeah, definitely not great if I'm really honest. Should probably maybe try and uh, hook up to like some sort of local gym around my area because we do actually have some. But uh... It just depends on the pricing, man. Some of these places, they really, like, try and overprice for, like, no reason whatsoever, honestly. It's, like, crazy. I actually think I have one, like, in my local area. It's just the fact that they closed for a while because of, like, staffing issues. And then, after that, it kind of, like, reopened again. But I think it's, like, more the hours are, like, really bad, than honestly. It's, like, finding that perfect time, honestly. There's also like lots of other like good sort of ways to exercise out there guys, like swimming's a good one. Swimming's quite enjoyable as well, I find. And swimming is definitely a life skill as well. I definitely learned to swim at a young age, which is quite good. I'm actually quite good at swimming guys I'd say. I don't do it very often though because uh, a lot of the pools around my area are either like private to like local just send her. Or they just like never open, which is like kind of unfortunate. Most of the time it will be a leisure center and uh, you kind of have to have like a pass to get in and stuff. And uh, honestly there's some times where you could probably like sneak in without the staff seeing but usually most of the time they're at that desk you know guys right at the front and uh, they'll see straight away. It's not crazy. See right now, there's some more construction work going on to the left of us. There's like so much construction going on on these like motorways recently as well for the UK. But I'd be traveling up the motorway sometimes, like heading to places like with my parents, and uh, the amount of like construction you see on either side is absolutely mental. Like housing estates going up, and even just like just normal road lights like on parts of the motorway there's something called a lay-by which is uh for those american people it's somewhere where you basically pull in to like it's basically like a rest stop basically like for quick stop sort of thing and most of them get closed half the time for like road works and honestly it's brutally ridiculous honestly like obviously yeah you'll need them daily repairs sometimes but Lead bars are something that are a crucial thing for the most motorways and some dual carriageways as well. And honestly, I think they need to like be watch what they're doing because honestly, like closing them could be like pretty dangerous. And that's the thing, like if you break down and there's no lay by nearby, then you are screwed. Especially if the one that's actually nearby you is closed, which is probably most likely. That's a big problem, honestly. We should probably try and add more in, but then again, that would be uh, something that would take so much time to do, honestly. It would probably just mean the traffic queue is absolutely extreme. To be fair, guys, honestly. It's crazy, because right now in Eurotrap, we're seeing all this greenery on either side of the roads. This will probably, like, be all gone if they, like, update the game to like where it's like builders just taking over all the land from farmers and stuff and uh, offered them great money to build on it which is crazy because most of the time that is what people like builder wise do in the UK they offer people uh, like farmers for instance insane money and then they buy the land and then they build on it that is the most common thing in the UK you see guys As you guys can see right now, we are actually approaching Carlisle. We are pretty much nearly there. And uh, honestly, looking at this area, it looks really nice. Nice places. Haven't been there in real life. But uh, just from the views right here, it looks amazing. So uh, we'll see what the location looks like when we arrive. 
as we take this next exit right here. And it's a nice sunny day that we're approaching Carlisle. It's not rainy and wet. But as you guys can see right there, we have now discovered Carlisle, which is pretty cool, honestly. Another new location to add to the list. And let's just say, guys, it's amazing. Honestly, to start getting these new locations, guys, it's going to be absolutely amazing, honestly. But of course, we get stuck at a red light. That's also pretty common with these places, getting stuck at red lights, honestly. Luckily, it goes to green fairly quickly. As we take this turn right here. Quite a few trucks, actually, uh, around here. As you can see, there is a port over there, right in front of us, with a load of shipping containers on them and stuff. Waiting to be shipped out. Maybe even just being shipped in, to be fair. But as you guys can see right now, we have arrived at the location, so... Let's see what it's looking like, and let's see where they want us to put this load. That's when I keep getting in, of course. As always, we will put it where they need it, so let's go. Again, guys, looks like it's going to be another tight squeeze just to uh, get a decent parking position here. Maybe not, this depot's kind of empty, there's only got one trailer. Honestly guys, I could not ask for a better parking position than that. Another insane parking position for the start of our Carlisle journey. So if you did enjoy this one, please make sure to leave this video a like. Along with if you are new here to the channel, please do hit that big red subscribe button. And also hit that post notification bell and say it to you all. That way you get notified every time I go live, upload a new video or a new short and I will see you guys on the next one.